Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Nilnar, and we're once again in the casting of Frank. So, the last episode, uh, we went through three and four. We're now working on chapter five, and we're ready to begin into this. So, give me that like and subscribe, and let's uh, let's continue on with this story. The Phantom of Cedar Steel. What's taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. The van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. I've just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get, like, every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane! It's all right there! No, tell me more. I've spent, like, all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and, yes, I had some help from my, uh, assistant. I ain't please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey! <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Well, I guess not. Hard to pick sometimes, but that one seems to be the best. It's definitely not something you see every day. Nope, That's what not. I'm counting on. Wait, so shouldn't we head out? Yes, right. So, slight change of plans. What? When Robert and I dug into all these articles, we realized there might be an opportunity to find some places in the mill that could be even more directly connected to stone, where we can shoot. So, it'll just take us a few minutes to look through... That's not going to leave us a lot of time. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Especially if this is our only chance to go back to the mill. Okay. So let's look around. Tom Holt's interview. Well, whatever we're Here, stuck on. Why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Unless you sure can't get enough Frank the Stone. It's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely so possible. Pause and read that if you wish. I'm sure no one was sad to see it go. Here, Jim, pause if you want. This. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank. I wonder no, if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. 
People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not Oracle at the of the mill, Omniverse. Like, people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murder started. Does not sound like a funny kind of read through these if you want. Pause. There are a couple articles like this. An omniverse? Yeah, it was in serious We're out. Line. But if it doesn't mention Frank. I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. a bell don't think I've ever experienced anything like that night before or since and don't reckon I ever will again <laughs> heck I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green man's a hero damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit <laughs> damn crying shame he all but gave up on finding stone at the mill Sam Green, he knew better. He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Mm. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Oh, that Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. Yeah, he was getting old, so. What do we have here? Murder Hill script. I pulled some of these today, too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders and a little before. Oh, good thinking. Okay. Talk to her. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think they? it matters either. I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film, like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. Come on, Kirk. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Oh, yes. Huh? What is? It's a picture of Frank Stone. Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders. Before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations. Kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello. What is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. This could end all tragically wrong. But they're in the Scooby Mobile, so. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. Hmm. That's saying a little. All right. This way. Let's set the creek. Find entrance to storm drain. Okay. Breathe in. Get to play almost every character at some point or another, it seems like. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frankstone actually killed people. Freaking. Okay. Two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also gonna take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? We'll cross. We don't want to get too close to the dad. I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. Well, they all did good jumping. Dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Put a little more up, light on for you. I think he had a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. Had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? You're being followed. But by who? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah. Almost fell. Come on, we can do it. Let's get across. I almost wanted to fall to see what happened, but gotta make a good, good run of this. Chris Gordon, another victim claimed by Frank Stone and gravity. all this over here we got to get ourselves the next chess piece still missing a couple and gloomy out here that's for sure made it this place is awesome 
I wonder what we'll find inside. Don't catch me uh, going to this place at nighttime. Nope, not happening. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, oh, well, the flashlights, uh... My notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. <laughs> yep. Good rule to live by. A little fast walk here. We must be under the mill by now. The worst way to follow find a way up. traveler. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? You were night. The night he was the here. The Witchman or who Frank are Stone? you? There was one time when I was little and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went. We know where we're at. <clears throat> um, so I was going to say, even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I got that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid or like my dad got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night. Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. Right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. No oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. I think this is it. Up there. Oh, we're gonna go. There we go. This is where he'd went in the last time. In chapter one. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people. No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Here's the furnace. To the gates of the underworld. Frank Stone is screaming there still. Uh. And cut! How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? 
And that's a picture wrap on Murderville. Way to go, everybody. <clears throat> uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. Now we gotta go back down in there. Huh? Yo. You coming? Uh, yeah. Be right there. Somebody there is back Did you there see something? Watching. No, it was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. <laughs> okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Ah, get off me! Get off me! Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie! Disagree. Not cool! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I mean. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know, a and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, 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 I mean, that, uh... <clears throat> Linda? Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. Act like I am here, but like invisible, but you still know I'm here, and you're not gonna get up to any funny business, cause that's just gross, okay? Don't, don't do it. <clears throat> well, okay, are we just gonna stand around, or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just... Make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. Now we can look around. See if there's anything good here. Box, maybe? Not the same box that's always around. Kind of creepy. Fear the future. Okay, nothing there, so. Try this door over here. There's the pike. just this is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone I always had a mental picture of it but now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes I don't know it's different
Take me down there. Oh, that looks cool, that face in the ground. Nothing to click on there, okay. I'll talk to Chris in a second. I'm busy snooping. Anything good? No, nothing there. Send help. Cool. What do we have back here? At still again. But no more to put into it, huh? Interesting. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set? And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. <sighs> and cut! Linda, that was sick! Totally, felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're going to replace the sound at high maze anyway. How'd I do? Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah, uh... Something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay, that's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. <laughs> I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot <laughs> damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. Hey. But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. <laughs> That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? 
I liked it better when you were gone. Hey, uh, Bonnie? You wanna come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I get Bonnie outside so uh, she doesn't die when this guy comes back. So, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me also. <laughs> You know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. <laughs> yeah, he does. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still going to have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like... One more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. Holy... What can you see? Uh, something freaky. Yep. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Whoa! Ain't that something? Ah, rats. What's that? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. <sighs> that did it. Okay. Let me get more. Oh. I remember to crank it. Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. Think that door will take us to the machine shop? Only one way to find out. Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go take a look. We're given the ghost of Frank Stone some energy to come back. See how well we can do here. Dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Then he's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been. Long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night. We're in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he There's a machine to shop. It. What do you mean? Uh, it's it's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, <laughs> man. The machine shop's supposed to be here. That's where we wanted to go.
Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap. It is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, it's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one's still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. Hmm. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. Okay, we're switching over to Jaime. So we're going to call it here. I hope you've enjoyed this so far. Gotta be we'll a way to get up pick there. this back up on the next episode to see if we can get up there. So with that, if you enjoyed this, give me a, a like. If you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe. And leave me a comment. What do you think of the story so far? I think it's pretty cool. So with that, I'll see you on the next one.